I'm going to show you how to charge the remote control boat. There's a little switch right back here at the base of the boat that enables you to take off the top. You just pull it this way to unlock it and then you pull this piece straight up and you can hear it come off and then this piece kind of slides back just a little bit so you can hear it unlock. And now we can see the inside of our boat. I'm going to set it down right there and show you how we connect the charging cable. So all of this stays together while we charge it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this charging piece right here. Just like that. And now I'm going to take this charger that came with the boat and I'm gonna be able to plug it in right here. Just like that. Now, from my house, I take a USB charging piece and I can plug it in and I will plug that into the charger. Okay, I have a power source over here. I'm going to plug it in. When I plug it in, there's a little light that lights up over here and we can see that our boat is now being charged. Now I'm gonna show you how to power the remote control. There's this little tool that comes with the set. You'll use this to take off the screw here. And once you get the screw off, you can slide open the battery compartment and install two AA batteries. All done. You ready to play, brother? Yes, and this looks so cool. This boat does not have an on off switch. Instead, there are two sensors underneath that have to be in contact with the water to prevent battery drain and for safety reasons. When the boat is in contact with water, that light turns on. Just like that. <laughs> it has a regular speed and then it has a power boost. Stop. Can I try? Yes. It's fine. <laughs>